how to do a test order on Shopify. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways of actually basically testing your store by placing an order. Now to get started, just open up your Shopify dashboard and then navigate to settings on the bottom left and navigate to payments. Basically, there are two different ways of doing this. First of all, there is going to be the option to just basically place a test order through Shopify payments. However, there is also going to be an alternative option, so make sure to watch till the end. So to actually test Shopify payments, just click on manage right here and then basically scroll all the way down and right here just make sure to actually enable the test mode. Then make sure to actually save this and then you will also have to put in the phone number. So let me just quickly do this. And once you've put in your phone number, you can now actually save this on the top right. And now, as you can see, the test mode is successfully enabled and all transactions are going to be simulated and customers can't make real purchases through Shopify payments. So to now actually test this, let's simply just open up this online store right here. And let's quickly, basically, let's just do a test order for this oversized zipper. So as you can see right here, I'm then just going to select small and then I'm going to click to add to cart and then just going to click on view card. And now we actually, I'm just going to delete this other one. And now we actually do have this card right here. I'm going to check out. Then just put in the random information for your order. And right here on the payment, you do actually want to select credit card. And this is where it actually gets a little bit complicated. So basically with Shopify payments, you can simulate a successful transaction by using these info right here. So first of all, name on card, uh, as you can see right here, uh, you can just put in whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to leave this at Elias Krause. And then as for the expiry date, enter any date. So I'm just going to put in, I don't know, 1229. And then as for the security code, we can put in any security code. However, as for the actual card number, as you can see right here, we are going to differentiate between the card type. So if you, for example, do want to simulate successful visa order, you will have to put in this test credit card number. If you're going to want to do MasterCard, you will have to actually copy this and so on. So in my case, I'm just going to copy this MasterCard credit number and then I'm going to paste it onto this right here. And now we can actually click on pay now. And as you can see, now our order is going to be processed. As you can see, now the order successfully got created. Everything has been placed correctly. And if we're now going to preview this on our Shopify dashboard, as you can see under orders, we can actually see the order of today right here. This would be the order. Uh, we can actually fulfill this item if we do want to. We can create a shipping label. We can see all of the information and so on. So basically this is just going to be treated as a normal order and you can now test out everything that you want to. However, let me now also show you a second way of actually doing this. So the second way would actually be to once again open up the settings right here and then head over to payments and just make sure to add a payment method. The second way of actually placing a test order would be through Bogos Gateway. However, as you can see right now, this doesn't show up. And this is because actually I do have Shopify payments available and enabled and you would need to actually deactivate Shopify payments for this to work and then you would just have to go through these steps right here. This is going to be pretty self-explanatory. You will just have to put in a credit card number one to simulate a successful transaction, two for a failed transaction, three for an exception, and then just put in the CVV and the expiry date as you can see right here. And just make sure to actually do this if you don't have Shopify payments available. Other than that, you're basically set to go to by default just use the test mode from Shopify payments. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.